I define safety science as the systematic pursuit of reducing harm to people. Safety science is also kind of the combination of the basic sciences, math, physics, chemistry, and biology, with social sciences. And then we add in a little bit of dose of engineering and technology and the new fields like data science to really understand what's going on and then prevent harm to people. Our objective overall is to ensure the protection of human health and well-being through research and sharing of our research knowledge. UN has a very uh, long history of writing standards and certification and our group's focus is to work on the safety of batteries. And right now we are focusing on lithium-ion batteries or lithium-based batteries. When we say standard, what we mean is that uh, for a certain application, you need to have the right equipment and the right design. For instance, if you, know, you want to carry 100 amps of current through a certain wire, that wire should actually have the capability of carrying that 100 amps. You shouldn't put a wire that's capable of 10 amps because then you're going to blow the wire or you're going to burn the wire. Once you know where your limits are, then you can step back and see why you have to put your controls. And I think that's very important whether it's you know, with life or whether it's with testing. Uh, you never learn if you don't push it to the limits. If you start thinking about a shrinking world, those standards of safety have to be applied. The entire world needs to understand those norms of safety so that we have, we have a safer world altogether rather than in just one small part of the world. When you think about e-commerce, you want to buy something and have it the next day, it usually involves transportation. What we're having to do is study how transportation can deal with the evolving world and still maintain that level of excellence of, of safety and reliability. The best part of working at UL is the mission. Uh, the ability that we've got the opportunity to, in our case, help the fire service and work with the fire service is, it's, a, it's an honor and a tremendous opportunity, a lot of fun. What we get to do, I mean, you can't beat it, we get to burn buildings. So we will build structures to burn, or we'll go out in the field and turn structures in the field into laboratories themselves by running instruments and uh, measure how the fire grows and spreads, and ultimately how the fire service interacts with that building and be able to determine, is it better for people, worse for people, and what can we do to educate the firefighters so they can do the best job they possibly can. The bottom line is that safety science uh, prevents a harm from coming to ourselves and the people we love. People just kind of think that accidents are just fate or you know acts of God and there's nothing that we can do to prevent them. Science tells us otherwise. It tells us that injuries are preventable and many other harms that come to people, diseases and that kind of thing, are also preventable. There are so many things that are happening every day that are unsafe and so if each one of us makes a small effort in our own way uh, to do things safely and also encourage people around us to be safe, then I think we can make the world a safer place.